hello guys uh, today we will uh, discuss uh, the ptv vision software which is used uh, specially for designing the traffic scenarios this is a simulation software uh, which was developed by ptv so you can download the student version it's available on internet so I have already opened the program. This is the workspace for the PTV vision, and uh, we will discuss from the beginning how to draw uh, links and then uh, how to define some uh, parameters in the links, such as desired speed areas, reduced speed area, and how to configure the conflict areas. Mm -hmm and provide private priority rules and put stop signs if necessary and also in this lecture we will uh, assign signal hits to the particular links beside that uh, we have to give some input parameters such as vehicle inputs and we have to assign route choice for that the particular vehicles for the movement of that vehicles uh, or traffic then uh, we will uh, de define the parameters in determining of data collections mm, there are many choices such as nodes uh, where we can use nodes and uh, data collection points is there for the determining vehicle travel time how do we assign these parameters and for the queue counters if it is necessary we will have this uh, queue counters uh, indicators mm. and uh, sections uh, that it is necessary to have data collection in a particular section of a traffic stream so this is the network objects especially used in PTV vision. Uh, we will start from the beginning. The top row is the uh, menu bar. That uh, all these network objects exist in the menu bar also. Let's uh, start with the beginning. How to create links. So be before starting with that we have to adjust the map or we have to assign a particular section of a road this is the original google map if we just scroll it down and uh, this is india suppose if you want to figure out the, the names of the city come to the settings and change the default map service to ptv default then you will be able to see where each location is in the map suppose if i am zooming uh, let's start with new daily just zoom in and then As it is uh, visible to you, we will use this rotary. So then you can change the map to original case, I mean default map service. Then the real picture of that area will be visible to you. So for this reason, I think it's better to use the default case. Now, to create links, we have to select the links. And uh, at the same time, you have to press the control key and right key of the mouse and drag it.
okay now this link requires some information suppose this uh, is link number one and we can provide a special name a name of for example sao or sao paste and it is a two lane road and the width of the lanes are 3.5 and we will discuss one by one later on on these that's okay so this link has already been created so we can duplicate the links or we have to create another links for another directions This is this. My two lane roads and uh, we have to create another one. Similar question for this Southeast. So for opposite direction, we, we can right click and from this list generate opposite direction with the same number of lanes. So we can put it here. So this is also the same case. We can generate opposite directions using two lane. Adjustment is required you need to properly adjust all the cases generate opposite direction with the same characteristics and for this one also so let it come a little bit so as you can see this is a circular type uh, intersection so we have to create a circular curve type links so for that you have to right click and uh, add a circular link and provide here and two lanes road this is along above section link it's okay now we have to connect all these links to the roundabouts so for that purpose we have to for each link as you can see it automatically will show that the direction of the lens will be here so here also
so adjustment will be required so right click on that and uh, recalculate spline it will adjust uh, itself for each case we have to do separately if, we, if suppose you are moving uh, your lens and it, there is a need to readjust the connectors so you can recalculate spline and it will be adjusting so, or suppose you are uh, moving it backward so for this case the recalculation of the spline is necessary now the model is ready so before uh, assigning the root choice uh, we have to make sure that uh, the conflict areas are, uh, are figured out so now see according to each leg we have separate conflict areas so it is a two lane road so to make sure that uh, signs are visible you can come to the links and the settings here the links bar change it to no links bar and change driving with you display time now it is visible to everyone that it is a two lane roundabout so for configuration of the conflict areas we have we have four types of uh, conflict areas so it's passive and uh, we have we can change it to this now priority is given to hmm, the movement of the roundabout traffics here we can change it like this way for all case we have to provide the same priority assign the same priority rules for each then you can assign vehicles so for vehicle input we have to select vehicle input and here right click and insert you will see downward here is a display that shows the total value of that uh, particular lane so we will set 500 vehicles default composition we will be selecting now with name you can provide but later we can provide it so for each case we have to assign the same and we can provide the value so as it is visible that for each link we have provided separate values a default composition of vehicles we will be considering default composition which and later on we can change the default to our own alternative case so now the vehicle her has been added so we can go for the road choice to assign road choice example the blue i mean the blue indicator shows the destination and the 
pink bar indication is show the origin so this is first row this is the second one this is the third one and this is the u-turn so for each leg we have four types of uh, root choice you can display using the list now the selection of this as you can see this is the first root choice for leg one two three and four so for all cases we have to introduce the same root choice second third and fourth Close. It's all done. Say for each length we have provided four roots. So here real flow composition is considered one person. I mean it is a one hundred percent right now. If you have the data, we can later on put the real case data to see the real case flow for each direction. And we have to to determine all these real flow condition and composition of different traffic vehicles according to the data collection which is observed in a real case uh, scenario then we can apply here as an input parameter to the model so we have to save it For example we can put it in the documents and we can provide a name in the roundabout model and save so if we want to see that the vehicles are moving then we have to Run the simulation. Now you can see that vehicles are coming from all the legs, and that this is uh, unsignalized intersection, so they are following the conflict areas priority rules. From each lens and so on okay guys uh, this was the end of the lesson for today uh, further development we will continue in the next lectures hope you have enjoyed the lesson and you can follow the videos if you are interested on simulation parts to develop such models using recent software. Thank you.